Good morning everyone. I am Nia Jadana from St. Mr. Jaipur School, Barwani, studying in grade 10. And today I will be telling you about a story of a horse and two goats. There was a village named Pritam. It was not an ordinary village. It was the smallest village in India. And it only had one concrete house. The rest were made up of thatches, straw and mud. There also lived a man named Muni. who once was extremely prosperous but as of now the only possession that he had was his two goats one day he was craving and desiring to have chopstick curry he then went to his wife and asked her to prepare some for him his wife said we don't have any money at home you should go to a local vendor and ask him for some ingredients Muni did what he was asked to do. He went to a local vendor and said, "Hey, could you give me some ingredients? I promise I'll pay you later." But what the vendor did was a little astonishing because the vendor humiliated him and asked him to go back. And then Muni came back. and told everything that happened to his wife but what his wife did was somewhat similar to what the vendor had done because his wife had asked him to go away by saying okay then i don't have any food to give you you should go away muni with a lot of disappointment went to the outskirts of the town he sat on the pedestal of a horse statue and over there he was just sitting realizing everything until he saw a yellow vehicle stop by and then what he witnessed was a foreigner come out of it when he was afraid of the foreigner but as the foreigner was coming nearer and nearer muni's heartbeat was getting faster and faster as the foreigner came and approached muni muni muni's mind had a thought the thought was to run away but then the thought that came to muni's mind later was that if i start running this man will come and chase me so i should not run and be here so muni did what he thought to do muni was here and then the foreigner approached him and said namaste how do you do but the only english words muni knew were yes and no muni thought that this is a policeman and he has come to arrest me for the recent murder cases in my town so muni started to give explanation about everything that has been happening by saying i'm an innocent man i have not done anything but all of this was spoken by him in tamil which resulted in the foreigner being extremely perplexed the foreigner said Can't you speak a word in English. Everyone in this country seems to know English. Without understanding a thing, Muni continued to talk in Tamil about all the incidents that have been happening in his village. Then, the foreigner saw the statue where Muni was previously sitting on. The foreigner was awed by the statue. He had an abrupt desire to get the statue. He then inquired about the statue. Said, "Hey, is the statue yours?" Muni didn't understand a thing, but what he did understand was statue. So he started to tell everything about the statue. That this is an ancestral statue. It means death to all of our problems, all of our conflicts, and all of my generations, the upcoming ones and the old ones, ancestors. They have always worshipped the statue. But again, all of this was spoken by him in Tamil, so he didn't understand. The foreigner didn't understand a thing. So the foreigner took out hundred rupees and offered it to Muni. Muni thought that this is being offered to him for his goats. So Muni happily took the money, left his goats there, and went back home. The foreigner was just as happy as Muni because he finally got that captivating statue. Then he asked us. He asked a truck to stop by and seek for help from some men to detach to detach the statue from the pedestal and keep it in his vehicle. Then, after detaching the statue from the pedestal and keeping it in his vehicle, he went home. He headed home, and now Muni went to his 
wife narrating about everything that that was happening that had happened muni's wife was just as happy as muni until they both heard the goats bleating outside they both went and muni started to scold the goat what are you doing over here i had sold you to the man why did you return back muni's wife was a little confused and said if the police comes and breaks your bones i would not do anything and just head my head back to my home thank you